Uh, that's not going to happen with me. <laughs> I love the idea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a nightmare for me. You can pay me. I'll yeah. fix your phone. It is a store that existed well before Minnesota officially became a state. In this week's Finding Minnesota, WCCO's John Lordson takes us to Marine on St. Croix and one of the oldest general stores in the country. For a town you can drive through in about 30 seconds, Marine on St. Croix sure is scenic. There's a cabin from 1852 built by a man with the most Scandinavian name ever, Sven Anderson. And just down the road is Main Street that looks like a Norman Rockwell painting. About the only thing that moves quickly in this tiny town is water. It's here that you can go from the sounds of a creek to the sounds of a clerk. You're the Cub Foods, the High V, and the Byerleys all wrapped into one here. That's us. Judd Walker and company opened the Marine General store 172 years ago. Gwen Roden has been manager for 15 of those years. We've only had six owners throughout from 1849 until currently. We are the oldest continually operating store in Minnesota. There are pictures on the walls and in the walls that detail that history. When you operate a store this old, you're bound to come across hidden relics. Tearing down a wall during renovations makes for interesting discoveries. Square nails, there was uh, cans and there was newspapers from way back when. You found old beer cans in here? Oh yeah. What were they drinking back then? Oh my goodness, uh, some off brand that I have never No Coors heard. Light then? No Coors okay. Light. The store has its original counters and creaky floors. There's even a box that was used to make grocery deliveries back when Millard Fillmore was president. We had telephone three years after Alexander Graham Bell had had invented the telephone. It's so much fun to work here because you walk through and you think about how many people have walked on these floors. Their secret to staying open for more than a century and a half is their ability to adapt. I've been looking for a peach pie uh, all fall because my favorite is peach pie and uh, couldn't find them anywhere. But now you know. Today they had it here. As a tourist town, canoeists and campers have become regulars, but longtime customers are always welcome. If you want to bake something, you know, you run down the hill and you can bake whatever you want. Today, organic and gluten free products occupy shelves next to longtime grocery staples. A little more variety compared to what customers bought in the 1800s flour, sugar, lard. Hardware. Lard isn't as much in demand as it was. Not as, but 150 we do years carry ago. it. You still we carry still it. still carry it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Along with just about anything else you can think of. For this town, the general store isn't just a place to shop. It's a place to share. This is a gathering place. It's, it isn't your box store. It, this is hometown. In Marine on St. Croix, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The original general store was actually across the street. It caught fire in 1864 and had to be rebuilt. However, the business model based on customer service has never changed.